Welcome to the Shaved In Tour, Episode 1. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. Now in tonight's Friday special, we are looking at my straight razor collection. Uh, a while back, 2K, a YouTuber out there, asked if I would show my collection. So, now this is in no particular order, all right? But, let's get going. So, I've got my gold dollar 66, all right? This fantastic hollow ground razor. Now, all of these are going to have mineral oil on them, so that's what all of that is. Uh, that's just the way I store my razors. And then, I've got a gold dollar 800 all right and this actually was my first razor and uh, it's it really a good shaver and this thing is hollow ground stainless steel where the uh, gold dollar 66 is uh, carbon steel and then let's see going in the gold dollar theme I got my gold dollar 208 all right and now this is carbon steel in hollow ground and you know it is really pretty good shaver in all honesty now my first ever zy guys and this is my zy 430 um, faux wood but it is beautiful this is stainless steel it is hollow ground, shoulderless, and just marvelous, marvelous razor. Um, excellent, could be a day, absolutely a daily shaver, without a doubt. Um, and then, I recently picked up my ZY Grand Slam. Now, this is real wood handle, metal spacer, hollow ground. Again, stainless steel razor, but... Guys, I don't really seem to have a problem shaving with a stainless steel razor. Then, let's get into more uh, vintage stuff. Now, I have, I got this. This is one of my first vintage razors. And now, this is my magnetic silver steel. Guys, this is just marvelous. And silver steel actually was one of the first attempts at making a stainless steel uh, razor or stainless steel period now this is had a little crack like right here and uh, I ground the shoulder off and you know rounded that off to make just a fine shaver out of this and I really enjoy it now this one is that kind of extra hollow feel and uh, it's either full or an extra it is really a singer now um, while we're on that subject, you know, I've got this razor, which is the Haddon brand, okay, by W.R. Humphreys and Company. And this guy is made sometime between 1890 and 1919 when they quit making razors. Now, if you look real close here, and with the with the mineral oil, it's tough, I know. But down here at the bottom, it is fatter than it is in the center of the blade here. That makes this a bellied hollow, which is like really cool. And again, it's a, just a wonderful razor. Um, and it's a vintage, which is so nice. I, I do enjoy those. Then my first Wade and Butcher I'm going to show you is this guy. This is my Wade and Butcher Sheffield. All right, real horn scales, guys. It's just beautiful. Okay, this is a wedge. It is got a barber's notch, and out of nineteen or no, sorry. 
1860 to maybe 1890 for this guy. And it's just, it's so cool to me to be able to shave with uh, something of that vintage. And, uh, you know, what were the people like? What did they do? Um, you know, what did they do for a living? How did they live? I think that's cool. And then this is probably my pride and joy right here. This is my Wade and Butcher for Gentleman Juice. Now, this is a great big old 15 sixteenths Barber's Notch, okay? Wedge, it's just marvelous. And it's a smiling blade, which makes this brilliant. I really enjoy this. This is one of my most comfortable razors. It is 15 sixteenths wide, but it works like a champ for me anyway. So that's cool. And then my latest razor that I put online is my Pierre Isar. And this guy, oh wow, it is brilliant. Uh, this is new old stock. It is quarter hollow, as you can see there. Um, it is a uh, 6 eighths blade, which is the smallest razor I own at this point. Uh, but again, brilliant. Uh, this guy is probably out of the 60s or 70s. Just wonderful. So there you go. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little tour. Hey, thank you to all my subscribers. We've made it over 400 now. I really appreciate that. That is so cool. Now, click over here to see basic straight razor shaving for the beginner. Click down here to see basic straight razor honing. For the rest of us, click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.